yet. She's still at the station. Eric's with her. Oh, let's hope the police don't hold that against her. <laughs> I'm a bit stunned, to be honest. You're not the only one. Well, keeping her in all night seems ridiculously OTT. How's Auntie Di? Bullish. I tread carefully. You're not going into work, are you? Somebody's got to make back the money your mother stole. She was under a huge amount of pressure. She's like a demonic child. You threaten them and threaten them, and then if you don't see it through, they walk all over you. And I've got the size 8 stiletto marks to prove it. Well, not anymore. Why don't you come back later? He'd be in a better mood when he's had a roast dinner. Any chance of humble pie for pudding? Huh. Don't think you're getting an invite. Danny, love, I'm off now. So you better come down, cos he's still here. I'd hate you to be accused of stealing if anything goes missing. Um, the meat's in the oven, so do me some spots, love. OK, yeah. mm, bye. So what's it to be, then? The bonus? Or some of them prints I was looking at the other day. I thought I'd start with a straight apology. And then a bonus. If that's what it takes. You said I was a thief. No, I didn't. Not exactly. And I did accuse Paul as well. So that makes it all right, then. Oh, this sounded so much better when I rehearsed it earlier. Well, this in rehearsed. I'll never work for you again, Rodney, so just shut the door on your way out. even start. I've had the thumb screws on me all night. I don't need you as well. Get that door open, quick. Oh, I should be languishing in a tea shop on a Sunday, not working in it. Or maybe wandering through a romantic ruin. Look in the mirror, same difference. Listen, lady. Hey, yeah. Do you think I'm happy about my son becoming a bin man? Oh, thanks for your support. She started it. Where are you going? Work. Today? We're clearing out the depot today. Oh, this just gets worse. Look, I'm the new boy. I've got to show Willing. Besides, it's time and a half. I'll see you ladies later, yeah? Bye. How can this happen? We used to be upwardly mobile. He was a fishman and you chivy char ladies. Mm, not exactly Trump Towers, is it? Ah, uh, th thanks, George. Yeah, <laughs> don't worry, she'll be in touch first thing in the morning. Bye-bye. <laughs> Who was that? You should never let the police interview you without a brief. George is a good lawyer. He'll have his story sorted out for court on Tuesday. There's something I need to tell you. All I hope is that you said no comment to all their questions. I'm pleading guilty. I will not have that filthy word used in his house. I fessed up to the coppers this morning. I've admitted everything. Everything? Whole kit and caboodle. The money you took from the antiques barn? Well, not that. And what about Rodney's deposit, which you haven't returned? Oh, you know how thick the scuffers are. I didn't want to confuse them with too much information. You idiot! They can still go to prison for taking the pub money! I don't care. I want to be clean for once in my life. Newsflash, people! This room is now the double wedding headquarters. These are inspiration boards. All the top designers have them. Here we go. We gather things we want reflected at the wedding and we pin them on the board so that we'll remember, you know, things like pieces of material, a feather, cherry blossom. It's <laughs> October. Get in the spirit, Donna. Give me your tie, Bob. Oh, I'm feeling inspired. <laughs> <laughs> Don't seem very inspired, Donna. Oh, leave her alone. Cold feet. I've never seen our Diane's face so hard, watching us being taken away like a common thief. You are. Less of the common. Oh, what am I going to do, son? I can't believe it's come to this. 
Well, if you'd faced up to the mess you were in earlier, people would have helped. They would have laughed. You do realise that she's planning to plead guilty on Tuesday? No. Well, I am guilty, and that's that. I've got to face what's coming to us. Even if I am scared, witless. Marie Antoinette didn't get as many visitors before she got the chop. At least you've got Eric. Yes. Mm. I've come to gloat. You stole from me. I'm sorry. Three times! Triple sorry. Hey, on what rubbish did you tell the police about the pub takings, eh? I suppose you managed to work it all out so that it was Diane's fault. Tell your father, Paul. What? She's admitted it. She's going to plead guilty in court. That's true. I rang a friend on the force to check. You what? Sorry? But this is you we're talking about. I don't know what to say. Try it off Vida's in, pet. Given I'm probably going to go to prison. That's where honesty gets you. I'll keep it warm for later. Too much of that won't help. What am I going to do? I've got no job. No Rodney? Me and him are finished. Look, I know he deserves all the anger you're throwing at him. But I also know he thinks the world of you. I just want him to trust me. I see you're not talking in the past tense. Maybe if you tried to let him apologise properly. Job sent that first thing. To be gagging for someone like me. Forget about Danny. He's just some little gopher. No, he isn't. What's this? Hmm. Whiffs a bit, doesn't it? I prefer my rubbish outside where it should be. Exactly. That's what I'll have to inhale every time my fiance comes in from work. But I can't keep him outside. It's Simon's choice. Yeah, and it was Danny's choice to resign, but I bet you're not going to take it lying down. Simon needs a proper business. That catering firm was a brilliant idea. Humble. Um, the one thing missing. What's that? What do you... Me? You! Oh, oh <laughs> shush! Where's you... oh, my face? Oh, we couldn't find a decent one of you. Not exactly photogenic, are you? Mm. Which we'll have to remember on the day when it comes to photographs. Mm. Make sure he stands right at the back. Yeah. Uh, excuse me, are you going to accept this? I'm supposed to be like your life. Donna! What? Oh, maybe not. <laughs> right, somebody wants a cake downstairs. Goodbye, Please Leslie. Touch me. Don't you boss my staff about. <laughs> Thank you, Viv. Bye, Leslie. Oh. And where's Bob? Hiding. What? Hmm? He said hiding. No, I didn't. We've got a summit meeting later. Well, he's coming, whether I have to drag him over here by the what's his. What did you say that for? I aren't listening properly. Listening or interested? Well back. <laughs> yeah, I, I would love to come, Viv, but but Diane needs me here. Don't use me as an excuse. No, I'm not. No, it's. I, I've only just got here, and I don't lose another tide. <laughs> yeah, I'll be there. Oh, cheers, mate. If you don't want to marry her again, well, of course I do. I, I'm more than happy to swan off to a summit. But yeah, I was here to support you. Why? I've done nothing wrong. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I saw Mother earlier. She's up in court on Tuesday. Am I bothered? She's pleading guilty. I just thought you should know. Hi. Nicholas been to see you. I can smell her perfume from here. Yeah, I think she's going over the top a bit at the moment to compensate for you. Listen. If you need some start-up cash for your catering business, I thought we'd agreed that you wouldn't meddle. Yeah, and I thought we'd go past all that. Do you know how liberating it is just to, to finish work and go home and forget all about it? No, the way things are going at the moment, I wouldn't mind trying. <laughs> we'll put a word in for you if you like. <laughs> I see our Val's already pummeled his soft spot. She has really cut up about it this time. Excuse me while I cry my eyes out. Listen, there's a uh, five grand on the table if you want it. We, I'll have it. Yeah, thanks, but no thanks. Nicola's got to learn how to finish what I start. Fair enough. Well, I 
I'll let you break the good news to him. You're never going to end your days as a binion. Maybe. Aren't you? Do I look stupid? <laughs> Have you seen Val? Only to give her a cake with a file in it. Wasn't having her arrested revenge enough. You know? Hey, just because you accuse Danny and him, don't try and pass on your guilt to me. Valerie's the culprit here. What, no attempt at a witty retort? That's your tenth, Alfred. Don't exaggerate. Ninth. When the judge is preparing the sentence, he's going to have an image of us in his head. I want it to be a good one. Kind of guilty as charged, but innocent at heart. I don't mean. I'm breaking it, Eric, man. Just shut up and support us, will you? What do you think? You lost your sheep, Miss Peep. <laughs> I'll be going down for months at this rate. Good girl. Think positive. <laughs> Could it be more than months? Yes. Get a lawyer. Joan of Arc didn't take a bucket of water to her date with destiny. Uh, and we all know how that turned out. <laughs> Last night they were all on my side. But it's been whispers and looks all day so far. Yeah, well, you did have your own sister arrested. I didn't have any choice. Okay. Now you're doing it. What? Like I've gone too far. If anyone out there says anything, I'll put them straight. But we're not out there, we're in here. Will you stop working yourself up? Paul and Rodney think I've handled it all wrong. <laughs> when did I last agree with Rodney? Maybe now. You do, don't you? No. It's just the way you've got the police involved. And now the whole village has got an opinion. Maybe if we could have kept things under wraps if it had stayed in the family. Now he tells me. Well, obviously, I'm only speaking with the benefit of hindsight. Obviously, you're not. Because if you were, you'd remember that keeping stuff in the family and not dealing with it properly ended up with you getting shot by one of your own kids. Touche. Thanks for reminding me. Jack, I'm sorry. But not about her. Right. Bob. Best man. Without Donna here? Yeah? Well, she can't be bothered to turn out. Second fourth, probably. I say Paddy and Terry. Well, you would. You've had them both. Steady on, fella. If we start raking up the past, there won't be one single person at the wedding. Excellent. Small registry do it last time. Oh, shut up, Bob. Or Eddie, Bob's brother. <sighs> Left the village in disgrace. <gasps> Sorry, I forgot how awkward. We found this in the pub. There we are. Happy now? Quite. We'll cut the cracks. Sorry. I'm sorry, Bob. Point made and taken. How about one of your lads? Yeah, Dad, get Jamie over. Oh, what a fantastic idea. Oh, and Donna wants you to be maid of honour. Does she? What about me? Be my guest. Donna will get who she's given. I want Emily. Well, what about me? Emily is a dear friend. Well, she won't even talk to you. Weddings bring people together. Yeah, on your planet, maybe. <laughs> Kane, hello? All right, all right, just calm down. I'll be there in a minute. Yeah, well, we've barely started. Oh, there's a problem at the garage. Can you have TJ for ten minutes? Oh, while I think about it, Jean won't be there on the day, so I want TJ dressed as a wood nymph. No. Thank you. Don't want him covered in green paint by the time I get back. It's water-based paint. Yeah, in your fairy dreams. Oh, well, we're down in the end. Right, guests. We haven't cracked best man yet. Well, plenty of room needed on my side of the church. Plus, you've already invited the whole village. You'll get two pews and that's your whack. It's not my fault I've got a big family. It's not Donna's either. I'm not saying and it's you're you're Donna's fault. No, 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 you're trying to No, the point I'm trying to make is listen. I don't want to argue. You better come here then. I haven't done anything wrong and I'm made to feel like the guilty party. Well, that's Val all over. She commits the crime and we end up fighting about it. Scrub what I said earlier. You did right calling the police. She's pleading guilty. Yeah, pigs might fly. No, it's true. According to Paul, she's told the coppers everything. 
No hoodies in the park, she nicked the money. Eric even rang up to check. She won't get a lawyer and he's livid with her. Reckon she's going to chuck herself at the mercy of the court. I actually, for once, think she's really genuinely sorry. How's Danny? Hungry, I expect. Now you can eat up every dried up morsel that he wouldn't and have a damn good think about it. I tried apologising. How would you feel if the fellow you thought of as dad rather than an employer accused you of stealing? I'd feel the same. Danny's as much like my son as Paul is. Yes, but your real son knew who the thief was and covered for her. Well, you better stop thinking, Rodney, or you'll lose that lovely lad for good. And don't sell my plate. Two minutes, you said. I'm potty training him and he had an accident. I had to pop home. Where's the bloke that was complaining? Gone. You can't have been too upset then, can he? How come he's left his car here? Well, it wouldn't have happened if you would have turned up when you said. Look, he was winding me up. So you smashed that, yeah? No. No, he did when he fell through it. Oh, my God. Well, I told you Sunday opening were a bad idea. Everyone ratty after a Saturday night skim. Yeah, and a Sunday one in your case. You stink. Is he all right? All right, well, don't ask about me. He was six foot two. I've just seen him and he was a shrimp. You bully. Right, you sack. You what? You heard me. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Don't start with me, Kane. What, what are you offering? I've had Viv on my back all day. I'm not scared of you. Don't matter. I've got other things set up anyway. Yeah, dodgy, no doubt. <sighs> oh, OK. The next time you decide to do a runner... I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Just for God's sake, take me with you. What's the matter? Hey, we can all up if you like, I don't care. It just seems so selfish. You know, planning a wedding when others are organising a funeral and I don't even know when it is. Sorry. I know you like Max. I'm here for you. He offered us five grand. That's fantastic. That's just what I said. But I said no. Why? Read my lips, snob. I'm happy as I am. And you read mine. Businessman's mortgage, bin man's wages. You do the maths. <laughs> Look, can I go to work now, please? Only if you marry me. <sighs> There's a problem. What? Viv, I, I... I couldn't possibly marry a woman who doesn't have an engagement ring. <gasps> da da <laughs> I wanted to give it to you privately, but... Uh... Hello, that. This is fantastic. I oh, know. Look, look, it's got... Viv, Viv and Bob, Bob and Green on it. Is it illegal to be sick in a cafe? Where the hell have you been? Oh, something came up. Yeah, we need you here for decisions, love. What could be more important than your own wedding? And thanks for asking me to be your bridesmaid. But just drop it! Oh, no. Hey, no, we've all got our Waterloo's. Nice one, Dan. She deserved it. It's not his fault. She's his mother. Before you say anything, I... on second thought, say what you like. Would you still keep your gob shut up to police the rest of me instead of your mum? Of course not. You don't have any family in the village, do you? So? You don't know how lucky you are. That's... Oh, he only calls me that when he's desperate. Oh, let's get in. Danny? Last time, I'll never work for you again. I hear she's finally taken responsibility for her actions. Against my better judgment in this case. You would say that. I don't want to see her sent to prison. I love her. Warts and all. I don't know what's more worrying. Prison? Your love or her warts? She's broken, Diane. You'll see a big change in Val. Got on? What's she doing here? <laughs> you look like Miss Marple's lesbian twin. <laughs> well, trust you to laugh. Sorry. So you should be. This is all your fault. Now, look here. I've come for an apology. To give is to receive. You start. Why should I? I'm probably going down because of you. You're probably going down because you're too pig-headed to get a lawyer. 
So this is the contrite woman, is it? You haven't changed a bit. She loves playing the victim and she'll worm her way out of it. You watch. You hope. Because if I end up in chalky, it's on your conscience. Look. Does it suit me? Are you happy now? <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help it. <laughs> Get out, you traitor. Well, it was never going to work out with Kane. What about this bloke he shoved? <sighs> well, I'm almost relieved to say he was too scared to do anything about it. Scared of you or Kane? Oh, very funny. Just when I was getting my life back together. With stolen money? Yeah, you had to come and spoil it. Everything you've done, you've brought it on yourself. I hope they give you five years. Diane, that's enough. Did you hear that? You vindictive baggage. It's never enough with her. Oh, come inside. Shut up, you. I will serve my time, a proud woman. And when I come out, I'll show you I will be a success. Not in that outfit, you won't. 